Hey everyone. Okay, so I'm here with a full moon update. And wow, do I have a lot. I mean, pretty much I've changed my whole freaking life. Um, literally... If, whoever's been following my healing journey, I mean, I've been at it for a while. So, I guess what it's true what they say. Um, it's darkest before dawn because I had been I've been seriously dedicated to my healing, and I just kept going and kept going, and it was like I knew when I was getting to like another layer of pain. But, like, the way that healing works is, like, it's kind of like you're digging a hole to get to the buried treasure. Um, so you're going surface layer first, surface layer first. And I'm a deep well. I mean, I've, I've been working with several healers as well as using multiple tools and modalities on my own self. And my number one motivation was Twin Flame Union, okay? That's like the dangled carrot to like keep going with the healing, you know what I mean? So spirit has really, really kept me away from like entertainment, boys, pleasure of any kind, pretty much um, enjoyment of all types. And I've been in a hermit mode isolation. Um, I mean, like, when spirit forces you to heal, they will do anything. Like, I even had, like, a month without my kids. Like, it was crazy. Like, I have been doing some deep, deep, deep work. Um, isolated. I've been isolated. Um, so, like, when this whole 2020 quarantine came about, like... My lifestyle never changed. I was I, I I was living in isolation anyways, and I just spent a lot of hours in meditation. A lot of hours in meditation, connecting to source, releasing shit. Because as you know, if those of you who follow the teachings of Roxy and Jasmine and pretty much any law of attraction at all, the affirming and all of that is great. So, but like, that's really, really great for people who don't have deep rooted trauma and deep rooted patterns, um, and deep rooted dysfunctional programming. Um, so if you don't have any of that, like you can jump right into your affirmations. It's going to be super easy. Like my clients, I work with a lot who are just they don't have a lot of issues. I can really easily help them clear out their issues and then we just start rewiring and then boom, they're instant manifesting. Boom. Their man's coming to them. Boom. They're getting their money. Like, but as somebody with a higher calling, advanced soul work, I had to go through like way, way, way more. I don't know if I'm necessarily done if that's a word done healing but um I really feel like you know I, I've graduated um even the lady I've been working with doing the theta healing therapy probably for about a year now on and off maybe like it, it was like once a month skip a month and every couple weeks as needed and she's like well I'm done you know so like I hit a major, major shift. Now, not everybody's awakening is going to be the same. I had a twin flame awakening, which started with a karmic twin um, and then really amplified it with my true twin. So that was always my goal. And then like when, when I almost got towards the end, it's like, you really are kind of like doing it for yourself and your betterment of your whole bloodline, you know? So 
those of us star seeds who choose this, I mean, we really come into some seriously highly dysfunctional patterning because it's our job. Like it stops with us. We are stopping it. We're stopping the dysfunctional patterning. We're stopping the karma. We're dismantling it. And we're saying no more. It will not run through me. It ran through my ancestry, but it stops here. Okay. So there was many, many times I was like, God, will this fucking ever end? I mean, at the very lowest point, I was suicidal for sure, like more than usual, um, even even like attempted a couple things, which I failed at. Spirit wasn't going to let it happen. Like it just. So that was like probably the one of the lowest lows like this was like a whole nother dark night of the soul it was like i had a dark night of the soul and then i kind of plateaued and then it's like i had another dark night of the soul and after that i feel like it, like it was done like finally i had dug deep enough to the very core and the past lives and all the programming that had been put into me finally i got it like got to it fucking removed it you know what I mean and then once everything's removed I can start with my new patterning so now I've reprogrammed my subconscious I've reprogrammed my unconscious my super conscious to only attract what I want um being cute um being healthy being happy and I think the biggest thing that's really shocking to me because this is of course it's ongoing work but they always say when you're when you heal and you are in a twin flame dynamic um your twins automatically heal with you so every healing i did it was like also healing my soul um my soul splits so I'm not going to dive too much into this because it would be a separate video about like how your soul monad chooses to split. But um, my particular soul monad, there's four pieces of it. So it's me as the feminine and then I have three masculine entities um, who were, were just one. We are one. So... All the healing that I do ultimately lifts them up too. So I've been shocked. Like anybody who follows me knows that my karmic twin was like so 3D, so monkey mind. And I don't even know what has happened to him. Like he has no clue what even happened to him. He's talking about channeling his higher power, healing me. Um, he's, he's like channeling spirit. He's talking about manifesting. He's talking about healing. Like, who is this man? Who is this man? You know? And I'm like, hmm, okay, cool. Well, the crazy thing is, is when this manifesting works properly, they just think it's their idea it they don't even know like they don't even know what you're doing and they just think it's their idea their great idea and I'm like hmm I'm just loving it right so I'm just sitting back but I'll tell you what I made like a major major shift like a couple weeks ago and some of you who follow my YouTube um, sassy rockstar three may have seen like some crazy videos of like my landlord, like ripping up my fairy garden. And like, you guys know I have issues. Like he's a family member. Like I don't really consider any of my birth family to be my family. Since at this point I have all crystalline DNA and my, my blood and my, um, DNA has been completely absolved of any, uh, ancestral bloodlines that I may have come from um but you know what I'm saying like birth family whatever 
Um, that word family is just such a loose term because it's like, <laughs> don't really have a family. Um, except, you know, now my star family's coming together, my galactic family's coming together, and like I'm starting to see results finally. I mean, anybody who's followed me at all, it's just I was always in this state of like, missing my counterpart so bad. Like I went from missing my karmic twin, missing my twin, just missing something. And it's like, once you uproot and get rid of all this trauma um, and all these dysfunctional patternings and all this subconscious programming, once you get rid of all that shit, you can reprogram yourself with the inner knowing that like, you're loved. That's all. That's all it is. And then like shit starts showing up, showing up in your outer reality. And I'm like, oh shit, who's the manifesting master? Me. But the funny thing is, is like my husband, he's like, he's talking about, he's the manifesting master. So I'm just sitting there like, like, he didn't even know what manifesting was. Like, he didn't, he thought, like, he thought all this stuff I was doing was just woo-woo, you know what I mean? Like, however people say it in, like, a whatever type of a sense. But, I mean, I have been healing my skin, my body, my bones, my blood, my soul, and... <laughs> What's up, bitches? So, yeah. I'm just waiting to see how shit falls back around because um, my husband's like, he's all, he's all about it here. And I'm like, hell yeah. But it's like, he doesn't quite know what's gotten into him. All he knows is he's feeling a, a type of a way. I mean, I'm really impressed about this shit. Like, he's telling me he's sending me remote healings and stuff. And it's like, he didn't he didn't even know what that, that was. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think he might be awakened. So, like... I mean, that's crazy. Like, so all this work I've done. And then last night underneath the full moon, um, I just set this intention. I said, anything that's possibly left in me at all, that could be any sort of an energy block for me having a harmonious relationship with my karmic twin and my twin, I just, I send any of that off to the moon. I release it all to the moon, send it to the light, transmute it, done. And I must have gotten rid of a big chunk because when I woke up this morning, shit was different. And, um, literally, oh yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, after I made that major, major shift, I back talking about my landlord again, um, I got woken up to some like banging around and what do I see? Oh, it's the maintenance guy over here chipping the fucking paint off of my house. Well, oh, my house was like the most hideous color ever. Like, I don't know what the previous owners were thinking. I don't know who in any kind of a right state of mind would even think this color is a good color. Like, I'm surprised they even made a paint that color. I mean, it was like a diarrhea shit brown, like the ugliest color ever. And you know what's funny, actually? Um, he's like, oh, yeah. Oh, we decided to paint the house. It's like, oh, you decided that, did you? Because I've been manifesting. That's why. Like, I've been, I asked, I asked for this house to be painted, like, years ago. I've been here for about six years now. And um, I had been very vocal about the fact that I did not like the house color. And no one cared. No one gave a shit about what I said. 
until this manifesting um, healing stuff going on. So not only that, but listen to this. When they started coming here and painting, they like I'm 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 pretty much at the level now of instant manifestation, like instant as fuck. And I'm just digging it. They started, they, they painted the house, like they painted, like they started one half of it. They got done for like one full work day and they painted it. It was like a light blue, like a sky type blue. It was a nice color, but I thought to myself, hmm, I don't know if I like this color. I think I want a deeper color, but like, I was not going to complain. I was really grateful just to have that ugly color gone. Like any color would have been better than that. So I'm like really... I was just being grateful for it, you know, and, um, but that thought crossed my head. I was like, oh, it's kind of bright. I was hoping for a deeper color. Well, so the next day they don't show up and I'm thinking, well, what are they going to do? Like take a day off, you know, like this, just sitting here like this. I just did just whatever, you know, I'm thinking whatever and brushed it off. Next day they come back with a new color. And they're like, oh, well, we decided to change it again. Um, now it's a color like I love. And then today we were in the Arby's line because I my kid was hungry and, and like, um, you know, he he wanted just a regular roast beef sandwich and curly fries. So as I'm pulling around, I see there's this sign um, for sweet potato waffle fries and I'm thinking to myself I just had one little thought and it just floated oh hmm I'd like to try one of those you know I wasn't gonna didn't order any I just got him his thing when he got to the bottom of his um fries he's like mommy oh my gosh what is this it's um sweet potato waffle fry and I'm like oh is it He's like, yeah, there's one, he's like, there's two, two little ones in here. I'm like, oh, well, that's interesting. And he's like, well, I don't like sweet potatoes. He's like, do you want them? I'm like, yeah, I do. I did want to try those. Can you give me an ice cream? So, didn't I just get you an ice cream? How much ice cream do you think Please. you need? Yeah, hold on. Come here. Let's see how cute you are. I'll give you Look a bunch my... of kisses. Oh, yes, please. Yes, they please. They have to give, give me, me ice cream. On a cone. Okay. All right, I'll do that. I was done with the video anyways. Anyways, that was another thing. I was like, oh, I want more kisses from my kids, more hugs. I don't know, guys. It's a new world. It's a new life. So, like, <laughs> my system works. I'm finally getting to be the proof. I mean, I know a lot of you who support my work and my healings. You always have, like, immediate results. So it's like I was the wounded healer, you know what I mean? And I really feel like I'm a lot better right now. I really feel I'm a lot better. So I just want to make a video and just, like, wow. I feel good. I'm happy. Um, I'm feeling loved. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that possibilities are limitless. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will check in later. Bye.